Sugar. You know this is the magic episode number five. Angola. If you missed the previous episode, you know, check in the description below. Sugar, excited about this one. Episode number five. Welcome back to the Chang Bucket. Bob. again i also want to thank my one percent gun support for sticking with me as usual my guys i want to thank you very much so 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 much and i'm back again happy with this one and if you've been here episode previous episode two episodes below i want you to drop a honeybee down there in that comment section wherever you see that video drop a honeybee down there for me if you know you've been there and you're rocking with me and we're doing this Right? My one gang percent support, we there. So drop on honeybee there for me. Sugar! We there! <laughs> yep, so with that said, you know as usual, I always want to take the time out to big up my very first comment on the previous episode. Right there. Big up yourself! <laughs> Sugar! Juke them! Big tune by the way. Big up yourself, you large and large again. Sugar! Too much, it's too much. Here at the chum bucket, that's why I get into depth of a selected song of mine. The ideas behind it, the reasons and everything surrounding that. And by the end of the episode, you'll definitely know more about the song. So stick around with a little preview coming up for the song as well. Also, to the ending of the video, to top it off, we have a little insight, a little bandicoot, you know already. So sugar, we there. Too much, we inside. Yep, so Angola today, and as usual, like the previous episode, I structured a couple of questions. By the end of those questions, we get to know more about the song. So we're heading straight into the questions now. Pop! Yeah, we back! Yeah, so question number one. What year was Angola released? Angola was released in 2018. Yep, 2018. Summer vibes on that. Yeah, anyways, we'll get into that. <laughs> yeah, too much. Yeah, so question number two. Was it a single or was it an album? It was a single, yeah? It was a single. Definitely. So question number three. Who produced this beat? This beat was produced by Crazy K the Baddest. Big up yourself! You like sugar! You're like question number four. Who wrote this song? Yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Question number five. How did the song come along and the ideas behind it? Okay. Angola. <laughs> Alright. It was this one time, right? I went to an event. I was invited to an event. And um, when I got to that event, you know, feeling the vibes, everything. I'm that kind of person to normally always be on a side. You know, like always in my section and inside some way, somehow. I always find myself there. So, at that point in time, when I look at the crowd, right, I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, it's too much. When it comes to the ladies, it was too much. From there, something hit me. It was that, it was um, a quiet, a candy shop. That's what I remember. So, I was like, there are so many women inside that they looking like a candy shop. Yeah, so that was, yeah, that was a, my phone on the side. So, so candy shop, that was the first line. So I came up with that line was like, uh, We got a lot of girls in here, oh lord, oh god, and better wanna wine and them Angola, oh la, oh. It's like a candy shop in here, oh lord, oh god, and better wanna make a best friend Angola. Yeah, that is, so, so that was the kind of vibe. Like, one line. Voice note on my phone, and then a couple times later, you know, work with it and work with it, and that's how I came up with that and all that thing around that. Well, I guess that's it. I think that's how this all come along. So, question number six on a scale of one to ten, how much do I rate this song and why do I like it? Alright, on a scale of one to ten, how I rate Angola? <laughs> I'll give Angola a seven, you know, to be honest. I think I'll give I'll go with a seven for Angola. Full heartedly. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I'll definitely go with a seven for Angola. So we got Angola, I'll give Angola a seven. Yeah, no 
don't think I don't think I'm too on the sides about that one. I, I think I have my reasons too, I guess. Definitely. So alright, why do I like Angola? Um the thing about Angola is like I'll always be willing to challenge myself and know how far I am or you know how much I can accomplish in the field that I am. To be honest, the story behind it, that's why we're here. I had um, that beat for like two years and I always knew they had one day I wanted to make a beat on a song on that beat sorry because I always found that it was a beat that would make me get something else bring something else to the table you understand to actually have a song I like on the beat because I never got a beat like that to actually do a, a, a song to challenge me in that, in that kind of an area I should say you know, the melody and all that kind of stuff. Coming with the challenges of attempting to make a song like that, that I guess that's why I like Angola, yeah. Because of the challenge, you know, it made me know that I could do more, you understand? So, yeah, definitely. And Alila, so it's like Angola. So, I, I don't know if you get the logic there, but yeah, kind of that in that area. Now, Angola is still an area in South Africa as well, so I did all that, so. They also have nice beaches, summertime, so that's why I kind of mend the two together. So, yeah, so I just wanted to slide that in there, so that's why the name is Angola. So, that was the end of the questions. So, you know, we're heading to the preview now. Some people you just don't have to share anything at all with them. 
because they don't go for what you have in the mind. Okay, so let me take for instance, it's good to have a lot of yourself time, right? Yeah, anyways, let me take me for instance, because I value myself time a lot. So, majority of people might want to say, what? I I'll definitely look like a madman to a lot of people, I know that. And then somebody going to tell me I'm mad, I know that. I'm, I know I'm a madman. Because at the end of the day, a lot of the time I would take to think of stuff where somebody else will not share that same momentum with me, if you understand, to give me that more. You understand? So why spend my time speaking to people that have the no sense of... You get me? Okay. So, it's good to be alone. But sometimes, so many non-believers, you have to do it on your own. I hope you get that. Okay, let's take this for instance. Let's uh, just draw a little scenario, right? They say, the word is that no man is an island. That's true. Depends on the help and everything. That's, that's a fact. But let's take for instance, of the coast of the sea, right? To show, of the coast of the shore, there's a little island. And a guy said, or you said, you want to swim to go there. Everybody be like, oh, that's crazy, my guy. You can do that and this and that and all that kind of controversy, right? And you take it upon yourself. You know, I, I know I can do it. I know I'll get to that island. I'll, I'll be the first to get to that island or something. Whatever motivated you to swim to that island. I'm pretty sure when you get to that island and you build a little shack, yeah, you build a little cabin, what you call it when you call it. I'm pretty sure somebody else would want to swim from shore now and come on that island. Let that sink in. Remember that. You understand? Just for them to talk about your little cabin and your little shop. But none of them had the attempt and the capabilities, the values in the mind to keep you afloat than the rest of them. So that's why you're the one to jump and go to that island. But they would also come because they want to know what's going on there. Because you're ready. You understand? I thought that was even the quote, but it's not a whole speech again. <laughs> Yeah, we back. It's sugar. So yeah, that was the end of episode number five, the Chung Market. I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me once again. I cannot swear on that enough. I cannot say enough how thankful I am. And uh, my one percent gang support. Big up yourself, sugar. So stick around definitely next time, guys, for the next episode. Sugar, the Chung Market. Well.